How to Get Mildew Smell Out of Carpet, Detailed Guide Do you have a case of mildewy carpets? No need to worry, because this video has got just a remedy for it. Learn how to get mildew out of carpet with these simple steps and say goodbye to that musty smell for good. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of that awful smell. Get rid of it! Step 1. Identify the source of the mildew smell. This is important because you need to deal with the root cause of the smell before you can eliminate it from your carpet. There are several potential sources of mildew smell in carpets, including wet or damp spots on the carpet that have become infected with mildew, spills or accidents that have not been cleaned up promptly and have allowed mildew to grow, flooding or water damage that has caused the carpet to become damp and susceptible to mildew growth. To identify the source of the mildew smell, you'll need to carefully inspect your carpet. Look for any wet or damp spots, spills, or other potential root causes of the smell. If you are unable to find the root cause of the smell, consider the possibility of hidden water damage or flooding. Step 2. Ventilate the room. Open windows and doors to allow fresh air to circulate. This will help remove the stagnant, stale air that may be contributing to the mildew smell. If possible, try to keep the windows and doors open for as long as possible. Doing this will allow fresh air to fully circulate throughout the room. In addition to opening windows and doors, you can also use a fan or an air purifier. A fan can help to circulate the air. It can also move the mildew smell out of the room. An air purifier, on the other hand, can help remove odor-causing particles from the air. When using a fan, place it in a location where it can effectively circulate the air in the room. This may be near an open window or door. It can also be placed in a central location in the room. Note, a higher speed will create more airflow. In addition, a higher speed may be more effective at getting rid of the mildew smell. Leave the fan running for as long as possible to help remove the mildew smell. If the room is very large or the smell is particularly strong, you may need to run the fan for several hours. In some cases, you may need to run it for several days. Using an air purifier to improve the air quality of a room is quite easy. Simply follow the manufacturer's instructions to set up the air purifier. This may involve assembling the purifier, installing filters, and plugging it in. Once it is set up, run it for as long as required to get rid of the smell. Step 3. Dry the carpet thoroughly. Mildew thrives in damp, humid conditions. So, it's important to get the carpet as dry as possible to prevent further mildew growth. There are several ways to dry your carpet. 1. Using a fan. If you have a fan available, use it to blow air over the affected area of the carpet. This will help evaporate any moisture that may be present. This can help dry the carpet more quickly. 2. Using a dehumidifier. A dehumidifier can help remove moisture from the air. This will in turn help dry the carpet. 3. Removing the carpet and laying it out to dry. In some cases, it may be necessary to remove the carpet and lay it out to air dry in the sun. This can be a good option if the carpet is very wet or if you are unable to effectively dry it using other methods. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions for removing and air drying your carpet. The added benefit of air drying in the sun is that the UV rays of the sun will help destroy any odors. That said, be careful about overexposure to sunlight while air drying your carpet. This is because the UV rays of the sun can fade the colors in delicate carpet. If yours is a delicate carpet, don't leave it out for too long in the sun. You can air dry in an airy space that's protected from direct sunlight. Furthermore, it's important to be patient when drying your carpet. It may take several hours or even days for the carpet to dry completely. The time required depends on the humidity level and the amount of moisture present. 
However, the effort will be worth it in the long run. A dry carpet is less likely to develop mildew smell. Step 4. Use baking soda to absorb smells. Baking soda is a natural smell absorber that can be used to remove a variety of smells, including mildew smell. To use baking soda, sprinkle a generous amount over the affected area of the carpet. Let the baking soda sit for a few hours. The longer you let the baking soda sit, the more effective it will be at absorbing the mildew smell. Next, use a vacuum cleaner to remove the baking soda from the carpet. Be sure to empty the vacuum cleaner bag or canister after each use. Doing this will prevent the mildew smell from spreading. If this step doesn't get rid of the smell, do the next step. Step 5. Use an odor neutralizing spray. Odor neutralizing sprays work by neutralizing the molecules that cause odors. This, in turn, leaves your carpet smelling fresh and clean. There are many different odor neutralizing sprays available. Look for a product that is safe to use on carpets. Follow the manufacturer's instructions on the product label on how to use it. Be sure to use the spray in a well-ventilated area and wear gloves to protect your skin. Before using the spray on a larger area, test it on a small, inconspicuous area of the carpet. Doing this will ensure that it doesn't cause any discoloration or damage. Once the spray has had a chance to work, blot away any excess spray. You can use a clean cloth or sponge to do this. Be sure to blot gently to avoid damaging the carpet. Step 6. Use a mildew removing solution. Look for a product that is specifically formulated for use on carpets to remove mildew and eliminate smells. Ensure that you follow the manufacturer's instructions on the product label on how to mix and use the solution. Be sure to use the solution in a well-ventilated area and wear gloves to protect your skin. You can use any of the following solutions. Resolve Carpet Steam Cleaner Solution Carpet Miracle Deep Cleaner and Deodorizer Nature's Miracle Carpet Shampoo Once the solution has had a chance to work, use a clean cloth or sponge to blot away any excess solution. If the product label recommends rinsing the solution away, use clean distilled or filtered water and a clean cloth or sponge to gently rinse the affected area. When you're done, don't forget to dry the carpet well or else all your efforts might be wasted as mildew thrives in moist or damp conditions. The best option is air drying if it's practical in your situation. Otherwise, you can also use the other methods discussed in this video. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, please like, share and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.